and a wooden deck it, stain the wood, and that's it. I love that as it is. I've got nothing like that. I say it needs putting back together properly. There we go. That's a bit more like it. Was this a team transport custom? Or I don't know. There we go. That's it. It's sat correctly there now. I'm simply going to put this back together again and put a wooden wooden base on that. Maybe even a crate. I shall try and put this on there without destroying it. Oh, isn't that pretty? And that's the box empty from Fireman. Uh, Mix 67, I have got nine as many castings for you as well. So, uh, happy day. Now, a cautionary tale of which Ron is aware. Let's just put him on there. So he's, he's broke his back, but we'll make that one sing again. Uh, Fireman was kind enough to send me this box and we've been to and fro in for some time now. Maybe getting on a couple of years. Uh, what a wonderful guy. All of you that know him, love him. And rightly so. What a terrific fella. And maybe we've just got through the fallen through the net and been lucky. But basically this box was seized by British Customs. As you can see, there was a team transport in there that was brand new. And that was the only new vehicle in there. But Her Majesty, I'll say that again, Her Majesty's Customs um, seized it and demanded a Queen's Ransom of £40 to release it. So I reluctantly paid the £40 because Ron was good enough to send it. And when he sends a box, it's usually $100 worth in postage alone and insurances. So why, why, oh why? When Fireman has paid customs that side, do we have to pay customs this side? And basically, after looking into it and picking through the law with a fine tooth comb, if the value exceeds £39, then there might be a customs duty to add on to it. Well, every parcel I get, whether it be Fireman, David Johns, Chris, oh, and is the cautionary tale is that it cannot exceed £39 in value. Well, that's fine. You can frig that by ticking it as a gift, putting it as under $20, and then what will be will be. But that includes the packaging material and the postage. So I think the Queen wants us to start trading empty boxes because that's about all we can do. So as I get around it with Fireman, I send him two boxes, and that sort of circumnavigates that maybe... Fireman will have to do that. Maybe others will have to do that because I've essentially just bought my own cars and I know Ron thinks ever so hard about what he's sending. Everything he sends is quality and fun and I've never been disappointed. But there's a cautionary tale. Beware your weights, beware your postage value. Always tick gift on the customs, which Ron always does. But unfortunately, Her Majesty's Customs decided that they wanted some of the action and it cost £40 to release it. Not an insignificant amount of money. Very sizable. And then to exasperate that problem, I had a court letter saying I had to pay a £130 parking fine because my disabled daughter couldn't get out the car. I had to park slightly skew, not hindering anybody, but a sneaky little man dressed in black must have ran up behind the car, snapped a photograph, and the net result is that, well, between today and today, today and yesterday, um, I've spent £170, and I've got nothing to show for it. This is what it is to live in England in 2020. Somebody rightly said, so which side of the Berlin Wall are you living on, and have you not moved on since 1938? Well, being as we're talking historical periods, it now becomes apparent to me more than ever that Oliver Cromwell never overthrew Parliament or the Royals. It looked like he did. He did what most dirty, despicable people did. He took a backhand at a bung and he lived his life in abject comfort while the rest of us and the Royals still reign and do absolutely nothing for it. So there we go. There's a sad tale. And if you want a sadder tale, uh, those of you know that my eyes have been failing for five years and I've had many surgeries and laser sessions down the five years. It's all blown up 
a year after my last surgery and this might mean an end to my working life uh, because the site will possibly diminish so bad after these next two operations. The emergencies, I've been bleeding internally for the last three weeks and I've got hastily arranged surgery in the next 10 days. So if I disappear for a little while, please understand it's not what I want, it's what I've got to do. But the consequence of these surgeries is that my peripheral vision diminishes, my contrast diminishes and the site closes in. They're trying everything to keep my forward vision going, but it's not enough. it shouldn't be enough to drive safely nor function in a working environment. So I might be medically retired. But hey, that's the way life is sometimes. Sometimes you're down and sometimes you're up. We've all got our own problems. But when we get wonderful people swapping things with us, I don't call them trade boxes, I call them gift boxes. Because we don't demand anything. We're allowed to ask, but we don't demand anything. And it's things like this. That after a few tears, you look at them, you rejoice in them. And then you start smiling again. So Ron, thank you sir. You've really, really lifted the mood after a few bad days. And now the sun's shining. I've got this wonderful box. And after the needless payout and the bad news, I'm smiling again. And that's the way life goes, people. I always remain positive. It's easy to get down and forget the things and the people that are in our lives. So always, always, always. Keep your tail up. I hear the wonderful thing that, you know, some people can go and say, I've got this mountain to climb. It's an insurmountable task. And when you actually sit down in moments of calm, you realise that the big problem is just a series of little ones and that you have to tackle them as little ones and get through. And then you can start to smile again. So, with these daft sentimental thoughts in mind, firemen, God bless you, sir. Absolutely wonderful. To all my subscribers, new and old, uh, we're picking up now. Um, and all farty pants here ain't doing any new tricks. But it's about time I did a pack and stack again. It's been a while and I've had people going, Hey up, what's going on? So we shall do a case of American, maybe with a team transport you haven't seen before, chucked in there. So 40 minutes, good grief. This is my longest ever play. This will take five days UK speeds to download. So... Thank you for your attention. Please like, share and subscribe. Drop a comment. You know I always get back to you by now. Take very good care of yourselves and each other. And for now, this is Sol saying goodbye. Goodbye.